So here we are at the client's house in the lovely little town of New Baltimore, New York. Um, as you can see, this is a very small lot. We're right next to the river, but they have an 800 foot low yield well, and it's very low yield. We discussed drilling a, a new well, but the lot's so small that we can't get more than 15 or 20 feet away from the old one, so the odds of coming up with more water by drilling are very slim. So we're gonna install a well manager for these people and let's go inside now and look at the equipment they have and say hi to the homeowners. Hi, you must be Andy. And you must be Allison. I am. Thanks for coming. Come on in. Well, Allison, I hear you're having water problems. I well, let's see if we can help you out with those. Why don't you show me where your equipment is and we'll get started on this right away. Okay, that sounds great. Come right this way. Well, Andy, here it is. What do you think? Well, it's a nice piece of equipment for somebody else's house. <laughs> this, uh, this system is, is primarily made for um, treating water. It uh, chlorinates the water, takes care of sulfur problems, kills bacteria, things like that. Mm -hmm. It's also sold for low-yield wells but your well yield is so poor that you need a lot more storage than what this has and you need to control the well in a different way because right now when the water is used out of this tank a float drops it says to the well give me water turns the well pump on and if there's enough water in the well to refill the tank great mm -hmm. and if there isn't boom you're out you're out of water this gets used and now we have no more water so uh, the way it's working now the well feeds this the pump in here feeds this tank and pressurizes the water and then it goes out to the house through this carbon filter uh, which is another problem. This carbon filter is backwashing every three days and it's using a lot of water which is going out this hose right down into the septic system mm -hmm. and so that water is all wasted. Uh, that's happening at night time. You may not even know it. Two o'clock in the morning somewhere around there. Okay. Yeah, that's, I have noticed that. No water in the middle of the night. So. That's the culprit okay. right there. We don't have enough water really to fund that thing, and I'm hoping that when we get done that we'll be able to keep it because we will have enough water to, to fund that backwash. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going to rip all this out and put something completely different in. We'll put a well manager system in, and the miracle of miracles will be you'll have plenty of water when we're done. That sounds great. Okay, let's get started. Okay. So as we explained to Allison, step number one is to take out all of the existing equipment so we have room for the new equipment. So one of the first things I want to do is make sure that the power's off, verify how everything's connected electrically so we can safely get started. And so we're going to do that now. These are the well pump wires. Okay, we're trying to disassemble this so it can be gotten out of the room. And so I'm trying to isolate all of the wiring so that this is free. Okay, so we're going to cut the existing piping loose. Looking out for falling items here and there. We'll get rid of this. Yeah, we'll get this right off of here. <laughs> Quickly approaching the time to carry all this out. <clears throat> Going to take the existing pressure tank out. We won't need that anymore. Okay, so now we're going to get the, uh, the old unit out of here, the big black thing, so we can get some space. Um, and then we'll get started with the installation. Okay, so now as you can see, we've gotten rid of most of the existing equipment. That's taken us 15 or 20 minutes. But while we have that out, there are things that you couldn't see before. That's the well line coming in from the, that 800-foot well out there. And this is the wire that's running out to that well pump. Those items were hidden before. So now it's time to clean up a little bit and start bringing in new equipment and setting up the, uh, the new system.